Hello, it's Sarah. I wanted to share these. I've been, I, I couldn't stop making them, these little mini books. I decided to get out some of my cuter papers and I just, I couldn't stop. So I ended up making, these are actually four by three. I found other tutorial, another tutorial. I, I, I don't have it, but if you just put in one sheet of paper um, tutorials, they're on there. It's really just, that's Liam, and my nephew, I'm watching my nephew. Um, just score it three, six, and nine, and then flip it and go four and eight, and it makes it three by four. Um, but I just want to show you these real quick. I did, of course, I had my Tim Holtz stuff out, so I did a couple Tim Holtzy ones. Um, and put a little dangle on the top. I think they're so cute. This one I just cut out the car, put enjoy the journey. These are the little grunge board. I know they're backwards, but I don't care. And then it's just one sheet of paper. One of his, I took one of his 12 by 12 papers and you make the mini album. I did grunge up some of the tags, but it is really time consuming, so I didn't do it on all the books. I just wanted a little place for journaling. So on some of them I did, like I didn't even, um, this is some like steampunk paper and then these are just like were clearance stuff from Michaels that I just threw on here and we'll see how it goes. But this is like the steampunk paper. I didn't even make the tags for that one yet. This one I did enjoy the journey. I love doing this cutting out the little man and putting them like he's opened the door of the car. And it's just corners and ribbon and a little a couple dangles. I love these little um bolts. I guess these are, are these nuts? These are the nuts. I found them, I think, at Michael's. So it's good for steampunky stuff. I got to make the tags for that. Oh, Liam's rolling all around. This one is, this isn't his ribbon, obviously, but it said, uh, laugh, inspire, faith, love, laugh, friends, it says destiny. And I just did one of those tickets, like I did for my itty bitty mini. I put some of his, um, you know, crinkle ribbon on that one. This one's like steampunky. I just used the Tim Holtz gears, these other gears, and put reality has limits, imagination is boundless, and it's just steampunky paper. Liam, roll over. Kirby, come. Kirby, come. Kirby likes to lick them. Then these are the cute ones. These are, um, I had to get out some of my cute papers. And, um, Put that there and then it's just this actually I did it with a piece of black cardstock and it makes it bulkier I mean it's definitely doable um I don't know hold on uh, but it definitely um, makes it t almost triple the width so um, and then these tags see I just left them plain with like a little place for journaling but this was the only one I did that way just because I wanted to like put a bunch of the different papers in here and see what that was like. I mean, it's it's not too bad, but once people start putting stuff in there, I mean, at least you can tie it, so. And then this one's so cute. I love this paper. This is a Kang Company paper. I actually bought a couple of these um, pattern, I mean, paper stacks when it was on sale at Joann's. So, that's just that. This one's so cute with the dragonfly. These are stickers. I just started getting out my stickers. I love the little daisy trim and then I hung a dragonfly. And this one's a little birdie. Just kind of plain inside, but it's so simple. Hopefully I'll be able to sell these at my craft show. I hope somebody likes them. They're so fun to make. They're addictive. I love putting a little cover on. It makes it so much more like, I don't know, I guess you could buy something like this at the store, but people do appreciate handmade stuff. So that's it. All right, you guys. I just wanted to share those real quick. I got to make some Christmas ornaments, though. Um, but these are just so addictive. I swear, like, I can't, I can't stop making them. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.